I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We're inviting students from around the world to join the Google Developer Student Club's 2021 Solution Challenge. If you're new to the Solution Challenge, it's an annual competition that invites university students to develop solutions for community problems using one or more Google products or platforms. This year, we'd like to see how you can use Android, TensorFlow, Google Cloud, Flutter, or any of your favorite technologies to support one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals that inspires you the most. The goals include things like quality education, gender equality, climate action, and more. So be sure to check out the post for a link to register and review the timeline for the challenge. We've released two new features to improve the smart device discovery process and drive customer adoption of your smart home action through the Google Home app. App discovery enables users to quickly find your smart home action thanks to suggestion chips within the Google Home app. Deep linking then enables you to guide users to your account linking flow within the Google Home app all in one step. Check out the post for documentation, some code labs, and a video on how to get started. Ruby, the popular general purpose programming language, is now supported in Google Cloud Functions. With the Functions framework for Ruby, you can write idiomatic Ruby functions to build business critical applications and integration layers. And with Cloud Functions for Ruby now in preview, you can deploy functions to a fully managed Ruby 2.6 or 2.7 environment. And this is complete with access to resources in a private VPC network. You can learn more about these with some sample code and a quick start guide in the post. Many organizations are challenged by the increasing number of APIs that they make and use. To address this, we've designed the Registry API, which allows teams to upload and share machine-readable descriptions of APIs that are in use and in development. An organized collection of API descriptions can be the foundation for a wide range of tools and services that make APIs better and easier to use. Things such as linters, documentation generators, and searchable online catalogs. We've set the registry API stability level as alpha, but our aim is to make it a stable base for API lifecycle applications. Check out the post to try out our open source reference implementation that can then be run locally or deployed in a container with Google Cloud Run or other container-based services. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. And don't forget to say hello to my little friend.